I mean, we've seen it, uh, you know, I'm sure in the first quarter, y'all seen it um, developing, um, you know, 16 in the first and then midway through the second, <laughs> all of us on the bench still looking up. I mean, it's just like that every game for Kyle, when you look up, like that, he got 10, 12, 14 points already. And, you know, we've seen he was well on his way to a, a high scoring night. So 60, you know, the night after Carl Towns had an incredible form performance and then to have Kyrie do it the next night. The league is an amazing place right now. And you're seeing a lot of talent and skill being displayed on display every night. And this was one of the elite ones. We know that the, you guys are first to make that. Ever? No, I didn't know that. Um, it's a cool stat. I mean, um, I, think, I think we can. you can see that we're both in a nice little groove right now. And, uh, you know, we want to continue. And we know this is a huge night for Kai. But he even said it coming into the locker room. He's like, we got more to do. And uh, I love that mentality, even on a special night like this. Thank you. First of all, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, I really wanted to get you and Kyrie Flowers for being the most, like, hardest duo of all time. Best hardest duo of all time. Right? You guys go down the court right now. Where it's like you can score an unlimited amount. So not only would you agree with that, but what is it like playing with an artist like Kyrie? Well, score sixty, you can score fifty, just unlimited range. Yeah, I mean, I, I disagree. I feel like there's a lot of good artists that play together, but I appreciate the compliment. Um, but the game of basketball, we both look at it as an art form, and every time down, anything can happen. And you got to be prepared for any situation. And, and you've seen that tonight and you've seen that over the course of our careers, just being ready and prepared for each moment and trying to do the best that we can do. And it's going to be some nights where you have 60 pointers, 50 pointers, and then it'll be some nights where you, you may not um, produce the way you want, but it all matters at the end of the day and it all helps you develop as a player and a person. So yeah, when we approach the game with that artist like mentality is always fun um, when you end up with nights like this. <clears throat> Most definitely. I mean, I love sitting in the fourth and seeing um, my teammates go out there and, and play great basketball and lead us to, you know, finish off a win for us. And, and I also love to play a lot of minutes, too. So, you know, <laughs> um, you know, games like, like tonight is pretty cool to me and where we can mm -hmm. watch an incredible performance like that from an individual, but also from our team, the way we shot the ball, 60%. 59, 60% from the three. Like, we just play a great brand the whole night. So, you know, just try to do what's required of me out there tonight and the need to do much. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, it was, I mean, you heard in the warm-ups when they introduced us, it was a loud cry, loud roar for Kai. And, you know, he has so many fans all across the world, so many people that he impacts, which is, you know, on top of his talent with just being who he is every day and, you know, to see that love was uh, was incredible. But for him to go out there and put a show on for him and give him a memorable night, you know, was, uh, makes it even better. So the high express even <laughs> more difficult. Now that you guys go home, have a three straight game, how do you avoid there being a high annual event? Obviously, you can't run any high, you can't run how do you make your emotions? I mean, we're in almost in April, and this has been our this has been our season, you know, where we have Kai for a couple games, and then next game, like we are I, I, at this point, I think we know how to adapt to it, and we will uh, let me let me rephrase that, like we need him in the lineup, but we understand that you know every other game we might not have him, so guys will step up, and that's just the nature of, the, of professional sports, <clears throat> you know, next man up mentality, but we're pretty used to it at this point. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't, 
um, we and Con Kyrie had conversations about the vaccine and what it meant to him and to me. And at the end of the day, I didn't think it was my decision to, you know, on what he wanted to do with the vaccine. I mean, I gave him how I felt about it and we talked about it, but that's ultimately his decision. So I was never going to force anybody to, to do something with their bodies that they didn't want to do. Um, but we passed all that right now and it's just not making sense. So, um, I didn't say anything five, six months ago about, you know, how I was feeling. Um, but at this point, I felt like I just wanted to speak up. Who okay. I mean, you're going to get, I don't, I don't know what he deserves. I mean, criticism and what he deserves. Like, I'm not even trying to get in, involved with that. You know, I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't think anybody deserves criticism for doing something that didn't harm anyone or affect anyone's lives. You know, more than anything, it affect him, affected him the whole year. He had to hear all the noise individually. So, um, nah. In other words, you don't, you don't feel like you bet. Mm, I don't think so. We all got a job to do. We all get to play this game that we love um, every single day, regardless, you know, so we can't let somebody else affect how we approach in our jobs. You know, that's just anybody in life, you know what I'm saying? So now nah, I think he let us down because at the same time, I, you know, me as an individual, I got to bring my best and the rest of my teammates got to bring their best no matter what. So from my perspective, no. Nah. Thanks, Eddie.